Hello, this is Ashkan. Uh, here I introduce our Beautifier Unity package which has a set of property drawers for Unity. So this is the list of property drawers that you have. And now I want to show you how it works. So this turns every string to uppercase. So I say Unity and it becomes Unity in uppercase. This turns it to lowercase, so I say maybe, I don't know, computers are fun. Turns to lowercase. This will not show the string like the password. This one is a drop down, which actually you can choose different values and the string will be stored in a string variable. This is character replacement here. I chose to replace spaces with, with underlines, so when I say this is a spaced string, it will all change to underlines. These two only change the color of every type of variable. For checkboxes, you can have a text yes, no, on, off, or anything else. Uh, you can have the preview of textures, as you see. Also, for integers, here you see that you can have uh, for example, if you want to have time in seconds, but you want to enter it in minutes and hours, it's possible 3 minutes and 22 seconds with hours as well. Uh, this one is really interesting. Uh, I want to choose one of the descriptive objects of type weapon, so it searches them and finds all of them, which I have in a folder, but can be in different folders. Both are here. Let's take a look at the script together as well. Uh, these are really easy to use like all other property drawers just I'll show them to be more clear and we'll add other property drawers to the package uh, after releasing it uh, and each user which buys the asset can request one property drawer and we'll add it to the packages so it will be hopefully a lot of useful to you guys and lots of fun and will make your unit inspectors more beautiful because it's the beautifier, of course. Sometimes Visual Studio takes a good amount of time to run, but we have the preview here. So, for example, for replace character, we can see I said replace spaces with underlines. These ones usually, the color ones get RGB values as parameters, as you see. Descriptive toggle is for yes and no checkboxes, uh, and uppercase, lowercase, these don't want any parameters, so uh, actually you can easily use them because don't take any. My beautiful Visual Studio here. Okay, so let's take a look at the harder ones. Uh, descriptive object ones take the type of descriptive objects and show a list of all of them. Uh, time hours is for the time with hours and time minutes is the for, for time in minutes. Texture preview is texture preview. This is the descriptive toggle which I described. The color uses RGB. I could not put color here because it needs constant in attributes in .NET. This is the replace character. We, uh, we could replace something else with something else. So let's say replace, for example, uh, number signs with add signs and let's add something to this pop-up uh, so let's take a look at our changes